one, it's you, you press the shutter. Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Sorry I've been gone for a little bit of time, but uh, I had to concentrate on myself and my family for a little while. But here I am, back with a new set. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? This took a little bit of time. And I have audio. Tell me what you think about the audio. If you don't like it, please let me know in the comments down below because this is all new to me. <laughs> Today I would like to talk to you guys about a discussion between automatic and manual. So I've talked to other photographers. Some photographers shoot automatic, which is totally their option. And some photographers, like myself, shoot in manual. I would like to show you guys the reason for manual. I'm not saying that manual is better over automatic, but I prefer manual because it gives me a little bit more hands-on creativity with my photos. Automatic, the camera decides exactly what the ISO, the f-stop, and the shutter speed are gonna be. And so all the creativity is kind of out of your hands. It's just to shoot and get a decent photo. Personally, I like manual, that way I can decide between a shallow depth of field or a long depth of field, some blur, some non-blur, how much light is coming in, how dark I want the photo, do I want it moody, do I want it bright and airy. That I can all decide in manual. This button right here, this dial, is where you decide that. If it's on M, that means it's manual. If it's all the way to this A camera looking thing, and this is a, a Canon F, uh, this is a Canon 5D Mark III. So this is what that looks like. Every camera is gonna be different, but on this one, this little green camera A means that it's on automatic that there are three things that I concentrate on to make a great photo. It's the ISO, the f-stop, and the shutter speed. The ISO determines how much light comes into the camera. All three do, but this is one of the main ones. So on a bright sunny day, you have an ISO of 100, 125. Not a lot of light is gonna come in, so you can control it a little bit better. If you're in a dark venue, outside in the dark, whatever it is, you want to make your ISO 2000, 3200. I really wouldn't go over 3200 when taking photography because it gets grainy in the shadows. Now there are programs out there that will take away the grain, that will smooth out the photo, but a lot of times that gets rid of the detail. And I like detail in my photos, so I tend to shoot 2,000, 3,200 at the most. Now after the ISO, you wanna concentrate on the f-stop and the shutter speed. Shutter speed determines how fast the shutter inside your camera is going to open and close. A very long shutter speed, 30 seconds, a minute, it's gonna go open, close. You can also determine that, if you want to, on the bulb, dial, which is that B. The B is, means bulb, kind of like the old style cameras where they actually had a bulb where you had to like push the bulb and that would open the shutter and then when you release the bulb it would close the shutter. But on this one it's you, you press the shutter and when you release it that's when the shutter closes. That's always good for night photography. That's good. But the longer your shutter speed, the more blur too in your photo. So on a bright sunny day, I would have it at 100, 125, something like that, especially if I had indoor flash going. I wouldn't go over 225, 200, something like that. Your shutter speed, you can crank that shutter speed though. There's no reason why you couldn't do thousand one thousandth of a second you know that's insanely fast shutter but you can do that without any worry like it's not going to cause grain in the photo it's not going to do anything really it's just going to go really really fast but people think the faster the shutter speed the better not always but you have to determine with the f-stop as well your f-stop can go from 1.2 to 22 depending on the lens that you have some lenses only go to 4 to 22 they don't have the lower end. The lower you go, like 1.2, the 
the more light you bring into the lens and into the camera. But the downside is that you have a shorter depth of field. What a depth of field is, is depending on if the background is in focus, the foreground is in focus, as well as your subject. The more shallow depth of field you have, the more out of focus things you have. So anything from eight up to 22, you'll have mostly full depth of field, so everything will be in focus. And then if that's what you want, that's what you should do, is eight to 22, and that will also determine how much light is coming into the camera too. So the higher you go, with the f-stop, so 22, the less light comes into the camera. So if I want a shallow depth of field, if I don't want any blur, my f-stop will be from 5.6 usually, or you know something around that end, to 1.2, and my shutter speed would be on the faster end of things. The faster my shutter speed, the less light comes in, too. You gotta remember that. So between all three of those, the triangle of how to make a photo and your creativity is right there between your ISO, your f-stop, and your shutter speed. To work with all three of those, I would suggest, if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about, take your camera, put it into manual mode, and start playing around. The only way you can really learn anything if you play and if you try, go outside of a sunny day, try different f-stops, try different ISOs, and when you succeed in something, write it down. Now you have full control over your photo and everything that you want to do creatively. That is not a word. And all your creativity in that photo you can control with these three things. I hope this has helped you guys understand between automatic and manual and why you might, you might want to go to shoot manual. I'm not dissing anybody who shoots automatic. If that's your thing and you don't want to learn manual, keep shooting automatic. Just keep shooting. Shoot, 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 shoot. As many photos as you can. Just to have fun, to increase your eye, to do whatever you need. I'm not dissing anybody, okay? But I shoot manual and I wanted to explain why and how I do that. So I hope this has helped you guys. And I hope that if you have any questions or comments or concerns, please comment down below. If you want to see more videos, hit and then the video is coming out very shortly. Press that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you know that I have uploaded a new video. I hope this has helped you once again. And